aduce în toate lucrurile pe care le face, inclusiv, după cum veți vedea acum, în felul în care își performează textele. De altfel, Steven a apărut cu un grupaj în Poezii Internațional, revista pe care o conduc, SJ. Paul. Christian disturbs so readily, you can fetch her. <laughs> She's safe with me. <laughs> and to follow nine luminaries. Difficult. Difficult to match up to them. I think only about half the audience has left, so I'm glad to have the last of you, those with, with true strength. I would like to take a moment to thank Simona How's that? Boom! 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 Alright, alright, that's enough. If you applaud too much, it doesn't seem real. She knows we're grateful. To you, Simone. So, I thought, seeing the lineup and then hearing um, just today that I was last, how would I match up to all of these incredible performers? Could I possibly bring a poem that would match the skill or a performance. Uh, and I thought uh, long and hard about that, and then I thought, no. So I'm not going to be doing anything creative. Instead, I'm going to give you a talk about poetry in England. <laughs> it's the perfect way to finish the evening. After two hours in a hot room, who doesn't want to hear that? So, as you can see here, SJ Stephen Fowler, poet, that pretty much covers it. Next slide. Got to switch the clicker on. Classic. Trading the clock. So, <laughs> a little bit about me. I would like you to see me as kind of the poetic antidote to those uh, advertisements my government ran about you not coming to England. Yeah, they've sponsored me, but that doesn't mean necessarily that in any way that my opinion is biased. Soon we can convince you over the next eight minutes or so. I think I've got that somewhere. Okay. Next one. Ignore that. So, what I think. You must be thinking now, um, well I imagine anyway, at times I thought this way, you know, it's okay to admit it. You're thinking, um, why do I like poetry in the first place? <laughs> this is the point in the evening when most people do, and it's understandable, you know. You have to look inside yourself and ask yourself the question, why did you start liking it in the first place? Because it inspired you? Because of its indicative power? Or to impress a boy or a girl? <laughs> Perhaps because most people don't like it, and if you liked it, it'd seem cool. <coughs> it's an open question, it's up to you, really. Next slide. English language. Romania is an English language speaking country. Thanks so much, it's a dominant language. No round of applause for that. Right, next slide. <laughs> so, what am I? What do I do? Thought leading. Let's, uh, let's build some rapport, actually. Let's go off, off stand. So, thought leading. What is thought leading? Thought leading is essentially poetry. What is poetry? Words. What are thoughts? Words. What are thoughts? Confusing. What are poems? Confusing. Next thing. <laughs> giving assurance. What is giving assurance? Comfort. What is poetry? Poetry gives comfort. Only good poems give comfort. If you have a bad experience with a poem, probably not a poem. Next <laughs> thing. Caring about you. Us. Caring about you, us? Question mark. Look at my voice at the end. What is that? It's a poem. Poems care about you, but they're not people who will let you down and betray you. Excellent. <laughs> That's a reminder for me. We've got lots of slides to get through. What is British? Simple question. Isolation. Next slide. Why? 
An Englishman, fascinating fact, invented the internet. Next slide. Okay, so this is a bit of poetry for those of you who are feeling kind of adrift now because I'm talking too much. Let's do this. You might think we have it made, but we're quite afraid. Now that rhymes, therefore excellent poem. <laughs> Down here, the sun may not disappear, but the world may not have many years. Half rhyme, still a poem, not as good. Next time. Okay, so. Elephant in the room, Brexit, Brexit shaped elephant. Listen, doesn't represent the entire of our country, we do want you to come over. My girlfriend was Romanian, she did all right. There's still reason to come, you might meet a lovely partner in London. There's lots of jobs. Yeah, the apartment's gonna be smaller than the one you have in Bucharest. You'll leave your friends behind. There's an economic depression, there are some racist people towards you, but that's fine, I'm not. This is not about that, come along. Moving on, next slide. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, okay, so this is addressing the fact that sometimes when I travel, people ask me, Stephen, as an English person, don't you feel guilty somehow to do with the history of England? And I say, well, maybe, but what you really need to do with these things, for example, what was mentioned in the last talk, which I loved so, so much, although no audience participation for me, is you need to know just a little bit about your nation's negative history. Not a lot. Just a little bit so you can bring it up at dinner parties so you don't look stupid. But if you know a lot, then you get depressed, and then you're not going to write good poems. <laughs> for example, for me, when I travelled around the world, you know, there's plenty of countries I've been to that uh, don't have a bad experience in the past with England. You can go to most places. You can't go to um, Canada, America, Mexico, Argentina, Brazil, Nigeria, South Africa, Egypt, Ethiopia, uh, Namibia, Iran, Syria, Iraq, Ireland, Wales, Scotland, Denmark, France, Germany, you can't go to any of the Middle East, China, most people don't know about that in the Opium Wars, but there are other countries out there. So you just need to know a little bit, and not all of those countries, and you'll be fine. Next slide. Okay. This is a slide about the power of poetry. We're all the same. Is that good or bad? Don't know. I get confused about that. But what I'll tell you is this. People ask me, why do you love poetry? And I say, I just love language. Language is great. It brings us together. Poetry is the best. Next slide. <laughs> yeah. You might think, hey, this guy's English, this guy's a poet, he's a good guy. Sometimes I have dark thoughts. There is a remaining word for this, my girlfriend told me, I'm trying to think what it is. Um, uh, uh, okay, just give me a sec. That's a lot of pressure on me. I'm finishing this show. Um, mm, yeah. Um, 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 Okay, okay, okay. I forget, I forget. Next slide. Reasons to come to England. Reasons to come to England. You grant. Reason two. Our poetry, Wordsworth. Now that might seem like childlike to you and not very good, but actually it's excellent. Come to me. Okay, so apologies. Very good at apologies. Very good at apologies. I've been to Bucharest today. People are lovely, not great at apologising for things that they didn't do. You need to learn from English on this. For example, I visited Cyprus once, and a man said to me, he was a poet, so therefore he was good and he was clever. He said to me. I wish the British still uh, had some sort of invaded presence instead of the Turks, because when you're brutal to us, you say sorry. And I said to him, I'm really sorry. <laughs> okay, food, cuisine. We don't have our own cuisine. We boil things. So we've stolen some of yours in London at the moment. And this is the little list, okay, of the stuff I've eaten. Mamaliga, lovely, salty, kind of a mush, kind of a mushy porridge, kind of not. But it's pretty nice. Next thing. Michi and Bourdain, and this program he famously said it's the culinary equivalent of non consensual sex between two cultures who dislike each other. I thought it was perfectly edible, no troubles. Chorba de Buta, stomachy, yum, who doesn't like stomach? Ostropal, garlic bird, bread and liqueur, pizza topping, I've heard. A sweet cheese, skin of a fat pig, brilliant. Please come to England, bring your thing. Next slide. Okay, I'm losing people. Simona, if you can play the music, we need to inspire people right now. Music does that. If you can get some sentiment going, and you can get people feeling things. It doesn't really actually matter what you're saying to them. Bring it in. Come on. This is the music they'll play when the bomb drops. We need a bit more. 
Okay, what we're going to talk about. Talking really quick about music. Why did I put that in? That's not useful at all. Um, what we're talking about. Uh, I really enjoyed some of the performances. Uh, they were good. None of them were annoying at all. Everyone I liked very much. Max, Max, that was really a lot of pressure putting me on my ten. He didn't want me to finish the poem. I don't understand actually what the responsibility of the poem is. I'm not really quite sure really because I feel kind of conflicted. I don't really know what to say. I'm supposed to be saying things about music, but as the music swells, people feel slightly inspired. You know, but I need to get away from sentimentality because these are the people. And I don't really know. If I put this up, people can read it and they don't have to look at me because they feel discomforted because I'm moving away and I'm proximate to people, but that's fine because I didn't know what I was going to do before I started and I'm just making it up. People are moving, things will be changing. Some imploding poetry isn't going to ruin interference. People are moving, it's coming anyway. People are running anyway, isolation, gliding, flat, isolation, moving. People are coming anyway, please help us, it's coming anyway. People are moving, things will be changing. Some imploding poetry isn't going to ruin interference. People are moving, it's coming anyway. People are running anyway. Isolation, gliding, flat, isolation, moving. People are coming anyway, anyway, please help us, it's coming anyway. Next slide. People are moving, isolation, things will be changing. Some imploding poetry isn't going to ruin people are coming anyway, please help us, it's coming anyway. People are moving, things will be changing. Some Imploding purpose are going to run in fluids. People are moving, it's coming anyway. People are running anyway. Isolation is moving, last, last. Isolation is moving. People are coming anyway. Please help us. It's coming anyway. Deference. People are moving, it's coming anyway. People are just running anyway. Isolation is alive. Isolation isn't moving. I don't know how to finish it. I'm not going to finish it. Max, do you want to finish it? Because I can't finish the poem. I'm finishing the poem. I don't know how to finish it, really. I'll just pass that to you. No. Steve? That's not my fucking poem anymore. <laughs> well, Maya, <laughs> it's your poem. It's your it's end. Poem. No, it's your poem. Just it's not my poem. It's your poem. It's not my responsibility. I, I, I really don't Simona, Simona, do you want to finish? Yes, ma'am. Never. Never. <laughs> and then who? I don't mind. I'm out. What's the mic? Oh. Anyone? Oh, dear. Oh. Thank you.